Okay, welcome to Moto Politics. This is my first video, just to give you guys a little idea of what's going on on the channel. My name's Adam. Basically, I want to give political commentary while I'm riding around on my motorcycle. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I get a lot to talk about. There's always something to talk about in politics. And I want to talk about more than politics. I want to talk about ideas, things. We can talk about things. But uh, so I think a good topic for video number one is to talk about talking about politics. And what I mean by that is, is why do we talk politics? Why are politics important? Why should you care about politics? The best way I think to just to understand this is to think about people who don't want to talk politics, don't want to get involved in politics, and they'll say things like, "I just don't know no enough about it." I'm not interested, I could never make a difference, it's too decisive. Whatever it is that they think they have a reason not to talk about politics, that really bugs me because whenever you say that you don't want to talk about politics, what you're saying is I don't want to talk about things that affect me, things that are important. I don't want to get involved in whether or not I can own this gun. I don't want to get involved in whether or not somebody else can own this gun. I don't want to get involved in who's going to be making the laws, what the laws should be. And actually, I think it's really selfish to not want to talk about politics because the politics, they affect more than you. And I think that if a lot of people were to really take the time, not just get involved in politics blindly, but to actually take the time to understand the issues and understand what's going on around them and then act on that, I think the world would be a better place for it. And a good way to, to make that happen is to talk politics. So that's why I'm here. Actually, the real reason here is that I just don't know when to shut up and the people around me hate me talking about politics all the time because I talk way too much. But um, I'm hoping you guys can, can handle that. Another thing you should know about the channel is that I don't plan on ever having any sponsors, and I'll tell you what. I don't plan on making money about this uh, on this channel. Just like I said, my interest is just talking to you. That's all I want to do. I don't really need to make money off of it. I don't want to make money off of it because I want to make sure that you know you can trust me. You know that everything that I tell you I'm only telling you because I want you to know. There will never be any Amazon affiliate links in my descriptions. Even though I may review some stuff, that's, that would be cool. No Amazon affiliate links in the description. Don't go looking for those. I might recommend something. The only reason I recommend it is because I think it's good. There is a cow in the road. There he goes. Bye, Mr. Cow. Bye. That's a pretty common occurrence around here. Next video and my subsequent videos, I hope to have a camera that faces out so you can see cool things like cows and perger and falcons, of which I'm a big fan, and which I see many of. Maybe because they're actually just regular birds and I just think they're perger and falcons because I want to. Either way, you're going to see them, I'm going to see them, and it's going to be awesome. For the first video, that's really all I wanted to do, was just let you know what's going on, what the deal is, what the plan is. But, since we're here, I guess we'll go ahead and start talking politics. And, uh, something that I've really been wanting to talk about actually harkens back to the, I think the second Democrat debate, maybe the first, Wh whatever the early debates were and the one with Kamala Harris in it. And there was one big moment in those debates where Miss Harris, she made, she made big moves and she said to another candidate as they were arguing about something other than what Miss Harris wanted to be talking about, she said, the American people don't want to talk about that. They want to talk about how we're going to put food on the table. I'll let you all speak. Senator Harris. You can't so afford part, to wait for the evolution issue. on these issues. Okay. Hey, guys, you know what? America does not want to witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. Yes. And that really irked me because Kamala Harris isn't going to put food on your table. 
Nobody on that stage is going to put food on your table. Nobody on the Democrat stage is going to put food on your table. Nobody on the Libertarian stage is going to put food on your table. Nobody on the Republican stage is going to put food on your table. The only person that's going to put food on your table is you. And just to see the way that the crowd, the crowd reacted to that, it, it actually hurt me because I could see and I could hear that they believed her, that they believed that Kamala Harris knew the secret to putting food on your table. She had a plan for that. When the fact is, the best plan to put food on your table is to go out, make money, and buy food, and then put it on your table. And the only person that can do that is you. It's up to you to make your life better. Those people that were in the audience cheering about that, they're all well off. They're millionaires, they're billionaires, which millionaires are very common by the way, so. But they're big, important people, they don't have many issues like poor people have. They're thinking about the poor people and they're thinking about how Kamala Harris is gonna help them and how they're gonna help Kamala Harris help them and it's making them feel good and they're excited about that, so they're woo, yeah. But the fact is, even if you've got problems other than money problems, Kamala Harris can't fix those either. And if you've got problems other than money problems, money can't fix those. But the big takeaway about your problems is that your problems, you can't just blame it on someone else and hope that they'll go away like Kamala Harris wants you to do. She wants you to blame white people, blame men, blame this guy. That didn't do anything to make you poor or make you sad. And maybe someone else did. Maybe your dad beat you. Maybe uh, your teachers never believed in you. So you've got to remember, there are people who you can see in your history book that had way bigger problems than you, yet they're in your history book. Yeah, maybe the, the odds aren't in your favor, but that doesn't mean you can't succeed. It means it might be a little harder, but that doesn't matter. That's just part of it. What matters is whether or not you succeeded. And you can also go to the polls and you can vote for someone who you think can make your life better but something I've realized is that the best thing a politician can do for you is as little as possible. Everything that the government does to try and help you doesn't help you. It makes it worse. Think about welfare. That money doesn't just come from the government. It comes from your neighbor. It comes from your mom, your dad, your son. It comes from the other people in your life that work hard. Not only are you taking it from all your friends and neighbors, there's a middleman there, a very greedy one, called the government. Hey doggy, hey doggy, hey doggy, you're a dude, hey dude. There's a greedy middleman there called the government, and he takes a cut. And that goes to buy a mansion, a new Ferrari. And very little of that money that's allocated for actually helping poor people actually helps poor people. But when you go to your church and you give them money, as long as, as, long as you're in a good church, the vast majority of it is going to go to someone who actually needs it. And it's going to be put to good use. So I, I guess that's really all I have to say about that uh, today. I guess I won't bore you too long on my first video. But anyway, that's my that's my opinion on that. Which uh, we're going to talk about opinions in the next video and why what your opinion is and what my opinion is doesn't really matter. So that's plan for video number two. Whenever it comes up. I'm not going to try and hold myself to a schedule because I know how that goes. And uh, I 
catch you next time. Bye.